In Adobe Illustrator, there are a lot of ways to manipulate and edit artwork so that it looks just the way you'd like. In this video, you'll learn how to erase vector artwork using the eraser tool. Then you'll learn how to cut artwork to create different paths and shapes using both the scissors tool and the knife tool. So you can follow along, open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. So you can see all of the artwork, choose view, fit artboard and window. With the selection tool and the tools panel selected, click one of the green handle shapes and shift click the other handle shape to select both. You need to remove the handle parts that appear between these lines so that text you put here is more readable. You can use the eraser tool to erase parts of them. You selected them first because erasing with the eraser tool only affects selected artwork. Also, know that the eraser tool in Illustrator is only meant to erase vector artwork not images you place in Illustrator. To zoom into the artwork, choose View, zoom in a few times. Select the eraser tool in the Tools panel on the left and move the pointer out into the document. The circle and the crosshair you see indicate the size of the eraser. Drag across the green handles here to erase part of them. Then try dragging across the line down here and notice it looks like it's erasing, but when you release the mouse button, the artwork is unchanged. That's because the line isn't selected. You can also erase in a straight line. This is really useful when erasing along an edge, for instance. Press the shift key and drag across here to erase straight across. Then do the same thing down here with the shift key held down. Release the shift key and drag across the rest of the green handle shapes in the middle to remove them. If you make a mistake, you can always choose Edit, Undo Eraser, and try again. To temporarily lock the handles so you don't accidentally select or move them later, choose Object, Lock, Selection. Another way to edit your vector artwork is to cut shapes and paths to create new ones. Select the Selection tool and click to select this line. Drag it down a little so it's a little bit easier to see. You'll remove a portion of the line between the handles. But to do that, you'll cut this single path into multiple paths so you can delete part of it. Click and hold down on the eraser tool in the tools panel to show some other tools. The scissors tool is meant to cut a path into multiple paths or cut a shape at a point. Select the scissors tool, then click here on the path to cut it. The path is now cut into two different length paths. Click over here to cut the path on the right. There are now three paths. Select the selection tool and click away from the artwork to deselect it. Then click on the center path to select it. Press backspace or delete to remove it. Drag each of these remaining paths up here. You can also cut a shape into multiple shapes using the knife tool. Click the small circle up here to select it, then choose View, Zoom In to zoom in a little closer. You need to create a crescent moon shape from this circle. Using the knife tool, you'll cut this shape into two separate shapes and delete one. Click and hold down on the scissors tool in the tools panel and select the knife tool. Drag across the shape in an arc to create a crescent moon. The original shape is now cut into two separate shapes. Select the selection tool, click away from the artwork to deselect it all, then click the smaller shape and delete it by pressing backspace or delete. To see the whole design again, choose view, fit artboard and window. Then drag this nowhere text into the area you erased to finish it. There are a lot of ways to refine artwork in Illustrator. The tools and methods you learn here can be applied to almost any vector artwork, maybe to create a cloud by starting with a drawn circle and erasing the edges with the eraser tool, or cutting a vector shape up using the knife tool to create a puzzle effect. To preserve the original file, save a copy of it by choosing File, Save As, and make sure you give it a different name. 